Hello everyone. I know it's been a long time since I posted anything last, but uh, hopefully I will be able to get back into things. Uh, I've been having a bit of a rough time in real life, so I haven't really been able to... I haven't really had the emotional capacity to record due to some things that have been going on, but hopefully I can continue uh, to be more consistent, or at least try. I do intend to finish this series. I haven't abandoned it. So, yeah. We're, we start things off with uh, Sharon challenging us to a battle, as expected. And we have Shadow Fox disguised as Vissian. and he's surprised that we chose that move because probably because he thinks uh, this is Vissian. Right, so hopefully this will still be a good episode even though it is quite late. I know I probably should have had this out a lot sooner. I just haven't been able to. So, we're gonna swap from Shadow Fox into Trap. Um, this shouldn't be too hard. Like, we just gotta, just gotta beat Sharon. Yeah. Giga Impact is gonna be not ideal for a Gardevoir, but Trap tanks it, so everything's fine. Not really overleveled either, like only one level higher. Breviary is definitely a switch. Probably. Yeah. Sending the real Vissian in to handle that. What will this scene do? So, I th yeah, return is definitely the play here because it is theoretically the scene's strongest move because of the normal stab. But it uh, doesn't seem like he loves me that much, so it doesn't actually do that much damage. Either that or like the scene's just very weak physically. But. Just gotta keep trying. If, if all he's gonna do is roost, then it's really just a matter of time. I do think return out damages the roost, but covet absolutely does not. So yeah, since our since Vision's attack was lowered, it's time to swap. Blaze gets sent in to take care of business. So it really doesn't matter that Breviary Roost's here. Because Blaze can just outrage. Rock throw shouldn't mean too much, because yeah, Blaze is pretty tough. Hope so, being a rusher am and all. So, for Masquerine, since Blaze is locked into Outrage, gotta swap to Vissian. Screen's got Intimidate, so we'll see it's gonna also be swapped out pretty fast for Tidal Wave. Um, yeah, Ancient Power definitely would be the 
play here because it would be quite effective against Masquerine since it's bug flying. Might be tricky though since it's uh, powering up. Citrus Berry, okay. I think Tidal Wave is still okay. Yeah, Gust shouldn't Gust won't do much. Alright, and there's our victory against Sharon. Doesn't understand why you can't beat us. Well, Sharon, the answer is that I'm simply better than you. You're too obsessed with power and you're not having any fun. <laughs> Why would the champion be goofing off on a place like this? Sharon's such a rude little shit. Like, he needs to chill out. What do you plan on doing after the church? becoming the champion? <laughs> what else is there? How oh, many people to love Pokemon? Yes, loving Pokemon is important. Absolutely. That's probably why Sharon's having such a hard time right now. All he thinks about is being... Oh, I have to be the strongest trainer. I have to be the champion. The champion is the strongest trainer and that's it. Larvesta thing, leave me out. Should be some rough. Oh shit. Believe me out using skull bash. Uh, I don't yeah, Swift doesn't do all that much. It's not the worst damage in the world, but it's definitely not great. Luckily, we actually do have Sharon to carry us in this battle because his Porygon does a hell of a lot more than Shadow Fox. So since Shadow Fox is not only low HP but also burned, it's definitely a switch to Blaze. Luckily they went for Porygon. Oh, please quick to a Rush Ram, yep. Good choice, buddy. Use a fire move on the fire dragon type, not that you knew that I was switching. But still. Oh, what would be the play? I guess Outrage. Oh. Yeah, I think, yeah, Blue Flare probably, probably makes sense, because it is part bug type, and we don't want to get locked into Outrage. Actually, that, it might not even matter? I think, I'm not, I, that's probably all they have, right? It's just a couple of children, yeah. Some preschoolers. We just took these children's lunch money. Now we can finally go to the Driftvale Drawbridge. Yes, Sharon is still being stubborn. Champion is the strongest of the strong. That's all there is to it. Nothing else matters. Yeah, I can see that it's this way. Thanks, Sharon. I have eyes, you know. 
Lisa's gotta call up. Oh, shit, what was his name? Clay. That's it. Clay. Oh yes, lower the drawbridge so I can send some trainers to battle you and whatever. I have a TV gig so I gotta go. And then, yeah, this is where we... Okay, Sharon, sh Sharon, you need to like chill out and shut up. So making our way across the drawbridge. Nice chillaxing bicycle ride and then once we make it to Driftvale we get accused of being the reason the plasma grunts escaped from their custody even though that's literally not the case at all it's not our fault like have you considered that you're just incapable well we lowered the bridge the team plasma guys we'd gone escaped and all the ruckus exactly like in th this instance I do agree with Sharon like it's literally not our fault like, they didn't come across the bridge, so it's literally not our fault. They have no, they have, that has nothing to do with us, and you're just kind of being a dickwad. I, we do need to visit the Poka Center, though, because Shadow Fox is not doing too hot. All right, after healing up, we gotta head down to, I guess we're probably looking for the Team Plasma Grunts, right? Yeah, so they should be in the freezer area. And the cold storage. Whoa, really? I can get there through the gap in the fence? Oh, hey, Sharon, you caught up. Like cold cool places, but we have to check. What a bother. You don't have to come. I can do it myself. <laughs> what a bother. But you don't have to come, bro. I got it covered. Wait outside or something. I mean, I don't like cold places either, but you do what's got to be done. Listen, yeah, that way it can't be traversed, so we gotta go this way. And we gotta fight our way through. I mean, we don't gotta fight our way through. If I wanted to skip these battles, I could, but it is good experience and also good money. Not that I really... I probably don't really need the money so much as the experience. <laughs> yeah, Shadow Fox does not stand a chance. And Kabutox takes him out, but... Luckily, this is just an ordinary, like, randomizer playthrough. Like, next time, though, I do want to do a Nuzlocke. Probably, maybe not a black and white, because I am just literally doing it, like, right now. What I probably will do is try and finish this series before finishing Pokemon Winter. Well, I don't know, like, maybe it would be good to do two at once, just to, like, have a change of pace. But yeah, easy Psycho Boost. Sparrow's down. $160 Poké Dollars. 
and we go to the Pokemon Center for a quick heal and just come right back. No problems. Look how quick that was. That was like two seconds. I just teleported. Now I gotta slide around on the ice and figure out what I'm doing. Alright, there we go. Is there an item? No, there's no item there, right? Alright, battle time. Here we go. Time to warm up with a Pokemon battle, even though it's not us doing the exercise. It's our Pokemon. So I don't really understand that logic. Like, what I, I really don't get that. How, like, a, a lot of times, like, in the games, they consider, like, Pokemon battles to be some kind of workout, but it's, like, it's not us doing the work, right? It's the Pokemon. So it's like, yeah, it's great exercise for the Pokemon, but not really us. Like, I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm stood here, like, giving commands to Shadow Fox, right? I'm not, like, exercising. I mean, it makes sense for, like, the hikers, because they, like, you know, go hiking and stuff. But these guys are just, like, workers in the cold storage, right? I don't- I can't imagine this guy, like, stood up here on the crate is getting, like, a ton of exercise, right? Like, I don't think a Pokemon battle is gonna warm him up unless he gets, like, super angry that I'm beating him. Maybe he'll warm up that way. Celebi! Alright, that's actually, yeah, that's a pretty solid matchup. One more blue flare takes care of business. I probably, yeah, I went to heal up and then just came back. I was like, alright, onward. Alright. Here is battle number three. Within the cold storage, at least. Let's see what this guy's got. One Pokemon. Celio. Okay. I don't think that'll be too challenging for Shadow Fox, but Shadow Fox is also pretty weak, so Yeah. See like one hit he's with half health. Let's see, when does Shadow Fox evolve actually? Let's see. Zorua. Level 30. Okay, so he's not too far off, actually. But yeah, Marin definitely can handle Celio a lot better. I mean, not only is Petal Dance a strong move, but it's effective type-wise. Okay, yeah, Shadow Fox is 27 now, so definitely getting close. Alright, here comes our fourth battle. Worker Paton sends out Caterpie. Um, I don't know if, like, Caterpie shouldn't be too much of a challenge, but it is a bug type. Okay, never mind. Yes, yeah, easy, swift. Easy, swift. Deerling? Yeah, struggle bug should take care of that, because it's grass type. 
Well, it's grass normal, but still. Ooh, not quite. Not quite. Hyper Fang! That's, uh... That's, uh... Well, not enough to take Shadow Fox out, luckily. So, he does still get the experience. So, and then I can grab that item. Ooh, a Swift Wing. Alright, so I just took some time and healed Shadow Fox up with a potion rather than running back all the way to the Pokemon Center. Dive ball. Alright, and here's battle number five. We're ready to battle. This time, this guy's got three Pokemon. Fungus. I think. Is fungus grass poison or is it pure grass? I think it's just grass, right? No, it's grass poison. Fungus. Yeah, yeah, it's grass poison, so. Psy Shock probably would have been better, but Stroke Bug's not too bad. Aromatherapy is kind of meaningless. I don't know why I'm like using Swift, but I mean it gets the job done, so it's fine, I guess. Octillery. I don't know if. Well, I I Shadow Box does out level Octillery. Struggle Bug might help. Just a lower special attack. Oh, except it has Aqua Tail. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> yep. Shadow Fox down to 8 HP in one hit. Yeah, Marin probably for the type advantage. It's probably Petal Yep, let's do a Petal Dance. Marion reaches level 29, which is very good. Look at that plus three attack. Grass knot, um, probably, yeah, like, probably not. I don't think that's really needed. Shadow Fox is 28. We're getting there. We're getting there. Climbing those levels. Magnemite, I think, is probably a switch to uh, Blaze. Definitely Blaze that fire type going against the steel. I think a heal is in order, but first, yeah, we got the story bit here. Oh, is someone in there? I wouldn't know. I just say yes blindly. It's not like we've looked. But yeah, quick heal up for Shadow Fox, and then we're in. All of you huddle around me. I can't take this cold. <laughs> it's Oh man, everyone drive these intruders away. What happened to huddling around you to take care of the cold? So silly. Gosh, I just, I love how silly these games are sometimes with like the dialogue and stuff. Uh, Shadow Fox definitely can't take a Volcarona. 
Like, there's no- okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just swift against it. Get a, get a, get a chunk in. A little tiny baby hit. And then definitely swap to probably Tidal Wave, yeah. Yeah, Tidal Wave is definitely gonna take care of business here. Even with a burn, like, he's fine. Probably Ancient Power, yeah. Cause ancient Power has that quad effective. Since it's, since we'll grow as, I think, it, is it Fire Bug or Book Fire? But yeah, since a Ancient Power is rock typing, makes for quad effectiveness. I think it's Bug Fire. I guess if I'm wrong and it's fire bug, like it doesn't really matter. Because the typing is it still has the same weaknesses. Doesn't matter what its primary and secondary really are. Mothin is definitely should, should also I should probably switch since Shadow Box is half but yeah, that's gonna be a super effective U turn. And Shadow Fox is down! Struggling to get that XP. Definitely Tidal Wave for Ancient Power. I probably should have swapped to begin with, but since it's not a Nuzlocke, like, I can afford to be a bit careless. It doesn't really- it don't- the only part that matters is, like, Shadow Fox does not get that XP. So, it's a quick run back to the Poké Center. Just gonna quickly leave the cold storage and then we're back all right go this in fully prepared to take them on now the glide score is probably you know, definitely tidal wave of that. Shadow Fox doesn't really have anything that can do anything against the Glide Score. Whereas Tidal Wave can use Water Pledge. That's Stab Water. Hell yeah. One shot. Good job, Tidal Wave. Luxray is definitely bad news for Tidal Wave. Um, yeah. Like, I don't have any, like, ground moves, so... Please use the play. Well, any useful ground moves, at least. If it's got Intimidate, this game would be useless. Luckily it doesn't, but... <laughs> Roar of Time. Flex. Flex play right there. Yeah, sure, use the cold as an excuse. In this group, I'm fairly strong, and that's a fact. Okay. You're not the strongest, but you're fairly strong in this group. You're fairly strong in this group, so does that mean, like, outside of this group, you're weak as shit? Is that what that's supposed to mean? Right, let's get a swift in. 
not well that actually did a good chunk actually but then hurricane comes out which is not ideal but shadow fox toughs it out surprisingly uh, doesn't quite get the ko so we're gonna send blaze back in She's got Pokemon remaining, yeah, I think Outreach. That's a good call. So, yeah, Phoebus shouldn't be an issue at all. Even though it's water type, it's just a fish, so. Like, yeah, there's no way Phoebus tanks an Outrage. But now Blaze is confused due to fatigue. But it doesn't matter, because we win. Battle's over. Promise is a promise, yep. So now we can finally move on to challenge the gym. And with that finally settled, that about wraps things up. So I will see you guys all in the next episode. Gotta grab this rare candy and then we'll be on our way out.